Fight Stage. I believe that my husband's leading a double life. When I was 16, we met on a chat line. He was 32, and then I got pregnant. You're a grown man that preys on teenage girls. I got a letter from another woman saying that they were still married. The first wife, she was 16 also, right? Yes. Hi, remember me, your wife, your real wife? The one that you left me with a three-year-old son. Where were you for the last 10 years of my life? Do you want to see your son? Why do you go around getting 16-year-old girls pregnant? What kind of person are you? I came on the show to come clean because I'm tired of lying. I'd like to know if he's cheating on me. I've been cheating on her. Uh, it was strippers, prostitutes. So you can spend money on a prostitute, but you can't send your own son 50 bucks? And this is a guy that you want to stay with, right? Yes. How could you ever give comfort to this man again? If you walk out that door, you can go still be with Greg, or you could go out that door and probably start a whole new life. And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Jennifer. Jennifer, why'd you call the show? I call the show because I believe that my husband's leading a double life. Um, back in October of 08, I got a letter from another woman saying that they were still married. Um, I feel like he's been cheating. Uh, when I was 16, I was calling a chat line. We met on a chat line. He was 32. Um, about three days after we were talking on the chat line, we met in person. And then soon after that, I got pregnant. And then he started leaving for hours, days, weeks, months. Um, he's been caught in numerous different occasions where he's either on the computer talking to other women, calling chat lines, meeting up with other women. He's um, coming home broke all the time spending $800, $900 um, on what he says is gambling. And to be honest, I don't believe it. I believe he's doing something else with the money. So how old are you now? 25. 25. So you've been with him for almost nine 10 years, years, nine years. And all of a sudden, last October, you get a letter from another woman saying, hey, your husband's still married to me. Yeah, and she, she needed help with their child. They have a 13-year-old child together. He's so out of control. So when you're married all this time and you get a letter from another woman saying, hey, he's married to me, what was your reaction to that? I was pretty pissed, to be honest. I was, Did he ever mention, like, hey, I'm still married to another woman or I'm divorced or... He told me he was divorced. And so, he, but he never, he never did get divorced? No. And so, do you love your husband? Yes, I do. And how many children do you have with him? We have two. You have two children. And now, you don't think he's still sleeping with his first wife? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. So, but you, th you suspect that he's with other women? Yes. I have just, had... I just to ask you, when you were 16, weren't you at all, like, kind of awkward being with a man so much older than you? I mean, here's a grown man, 32 years old, that you didn't... That didn't put you off a little bit, or? No. What was the bottom that you found so mesmerizing? Well, we had some really good conversations. Um, everything was really good until we got pregnant with our first son. Why would you then marry him somewhere down the road? I love him. You know, we do things together. He makes me feel good inside. You know, the kids just absolutely love him. So he's a good father? Yeah. And how long, oh, so this was October when you found out he's still married and he, then you must have told him and he knows he's still married to his other wife, right? Mm -hmm. So he's, now he's married to two women still. Mm -hmm. Has he done anything to rectify that situation and say, I better get divorced from this other woman? It took him eight months to do something about it, but he started to. What has he done? He filled out the paperwork, sent it in, and then about a month later, he went in again. Um, he said that all he had to do was uh, go to a parenting class for like three hours. But he complains about that because he don't want to. He don't have the money. And it, it really makes me mad that he won't do it. I, why not? If you don't want to be with the woman 
Why not? If you don't love her, why not? Do you think he still loves her? Yes, I do. It feels in my gut that he wants her, he loves her, not me. He took a lie detector test before the show. What are, what are you hoping to find out? I would like to know what he's doing with all the money. I'd like to know if he wants to be with me or if he wants to be with her. If, you know, if he's cheated on me and, you know, how many times. And this is a guy that you want to, you stay with, right? Yes. You love him. Yes. You were 16 when you got with him, you, right? Yes. The first wife, she was 16 also, right? Yes. There's a pattern of a guy that's much older and he's preying on, and I say preying because that's the way I feel, that a 32-year-old man has to date a 16-year-old girl. He's preying on him. <laughs> what, if, what if he's with the 16-year-old now? Maybe he's going to see a 16-year-old when he, when he disappears. That's not, that's... That's not okay. That's gross. I don't... That... But wasn't it gross when he was 32 being with you and you were 16? Yes, I see that now. But then I didn't... I wasn't thinking about that. Um. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to him, and I'll bring you out at some point. Maybe we can get you the answers that you're looking for. Okay. Let's bring out Jennifer's uh, husband, Greg. How you doing, Greg? Hey, how you doing, Steve? You're how old? Uh, 41 now. You're 41? Yes, sir. And the first question I want to ask is, how are you able to pull off being a 41-year-old man in top shape to pull these 16 year old girls to be attracted to you? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. It was just love. And... It was wrong. You have, every right, you, have every right to, you have every right to ask that question. That was wrong. What's it, that? It was wrong to try and get with a 16 year old. You're correct. I didn't even get to that part yet. But I, I heard you. <laughs> I didn't even ask that question yet. But yeah, that was. I wrong. mean, when you're 32 years old, you didn't find it creepy that you were dating a 16-year-old girl, a teenage girl? To be honest, the up, stay out, no. Where were you for the last 10 years of my life? When's the last time you physically saw your son? Put your arm around your son. Never. Never! Greg confessed to having sex with more than 20 women since he's been married to Jennifer. And if you walk out that door, you can go still be with Greg. Or you could go out that door and probably start a whole new life. And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. We're not talking about just one 16-year-old. You were married to another woman that you still are married to her, right? You're married to two women right now. Yes, sir, but I thought a family member in California had told me that I had some paperwork sent to me. And I said, well, do you know what it is? They go, no. So I was like, well, could it possibly be divorce papers? And they said, I don't want to get in the middle of it. But then they said, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. They said, you don't have to sign it. So I said, OK. So it had to be divorce papers as far as I was concerned. I hadn't talked to her, my first wife. I hadn't done anything with her. I hadn't seen her. And so I assumed it was the divorce papers. So that might be the craziest divorce story I ever heard in my life. Yes, sir. <laughs> like... And did you, you had a son in that relationship, right? Yes, sir. You, are you still seeing him? Are you still having contact with him? No, sir. I haven't seen him since he was little. I would say maybe when he was, maybe even after first born. 
I have a picture of him sent from a family member when he oh, was this, two. Oh, there's a family member that solves all the problems. <laughs> it, it's, Did, that's the last time you saw your son? Yes, sir. That's the picture? Well, no, even when he was little. Oh, what so happened was... You even saw him we, before we, that. We had the baby in June of 96. November of 96, we got married, and then a couple months later, she cheated on me. We were going through a lot of problems. She cheated on me. Uh, I had him as a baby. I'm at home working 12 hours a day at a job, trying to provide, and the next thing I know, well, where is she? It's like late at night. I go okay, to see her, and she's like, I'll, I'll give you this. She cheated on you with 100 guys. We'll give you that. Who cares? OK. You haven't seen your son in how long? A long time, sir. Why? Her and I have never gotten along. And when we do see each other, it's just like fist I'm cups. asking you about your son. He, I would love to see him. I would love Why to. Why haven't you? It's hard to see him when you don't know where he is. And, and have when you, you do have the family member. Have you where he's at? The, the family member that I could talk to. The family member again. Yes, sir. I was told to stay away from her. Who? Angelia. Who told you to stay away my from her? My first wife said, stay away from me. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm done. I'm going but on But wouldn't you life. say, no, I'm sorry. I want to be involved in my son's life. <laughs> I've, I've tried. And then when I do get to see him the couple times that I have, Steve, it's been like, OK, well, can I take him somewhere? McDonald's, you know, wherever. No. Can I go anywhere with him? No. Can you do anything? Well, why wouldn't you no. do what you would need to do as a father to make sure that you would have rights to see your son, rights to be with your son? Because in my way of thinking, which obviously is wrong, but in my way of thinking, I thought a child should always be with their mother. It, there's, so a child doesn't just need dad, right? Well, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they should be a part of their mother's life and as well as my own. But if the mother doesn't want me to be a part of it, what am I supposed to do? Or is it, why don't you just admit the truth and say, it's much easier to walk out of the child's life, and now I have this other woman, and I could be in these children's life, and eh, that's kind of messy, and I really don't want to deal with that. No, sir. I... <laughs> no, sir. That, that wasn't the case. Well, have you done anything to make sure that you're involved in your son's life? She and wouldn't. as far as trying to track her down, she's tracking you down. She sent your wife, wife number two, yes, sir. a letter saying, hey, I, wanna, you know, I want him involved in my son's life. Why would she send that letter? I don't know. I know he got in trouble, you know, uh, doing some stuff. Um, I knew that. Gee, I wonder but, why. Mm -hmm. Because but, no but father she, figure in his she life? She never told me. She never tells me anything. She never tells me where she lives, what she does, anything. So wife number one sends you a letter. OK, it's time you got a hold of Junior. He's out of control, and he needs his dad. Please help turn our son around. At least call. She puts her phone number in here. We are still married, and our son needs you. Yes, sir. OK. Sounds like the woman's reaching out to you. Puts her phone number in there. Mm -hmm. Return address on the envelope, right? Mm -hmm. So now you have the address and phone number. Did you do anything once you got this letter? No, sir. The reason why is because Jennifer, my second wife, got the letter and said, you're not seeing this at all. I don't want anything. Well, why you know. wouldn't she say, no, that's my son. Give me the damn letter. I've been cheating on her. It was strippers and prostitutes. You spend money on women that are strippers and prostitutes? Yeah. Like, sometimes it'd be 300. Sometimes it could be up to like 800. So you can spend money on a prostitute, but you can't send your own son 50 bucks. How could you ever give comfort to this man again? And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. You are the guy. You're off my stage. You're a grown man that preys on teenage girls. You, get, you marry one 16-year-old girl, and you get her pregnant, and you have a child, and then you, you don't even bother getting divorced, and then you start preying online, and you scoop another 16-year-old child up, and you marry her, or you get her pregnant, and then once she gets pregnant, ah, this is an inconvenience. You start taking off for large chunks of time. 
you're an irresponsible guy, and you're just a guy that preys on 16-year-old girls. That's what you do. <laughs> What, what, why, why would you go around and get teenage girls pregnant anyways? I don't know, sir. You do know. I want an answer. Why do you go around getting 16-year-old girls pregnant? Stupidity. You can't get anybody your own age? <laughs> but your wife's, your second wife's here. First wife writes a letter. Hey, I need your help. Eh, my wife won't give me the letter. But she did. They How did, did she keep it from you? They, they did correspond on the internet. And then I got to talk to him on the phone. So it wasn't like she said, you can't see your him Your son at all. is how old now? He's 13. When's the last time you physically saw your son? Put your arm around your son. Never. Never? Oh. Never! Well, the only time I can remember how? is when he was Tell, a baby. No, wait, stop before when he was you a say baby. another word. I want to hear how that happened. How does that happen? My, like my son, I was at the beach with him. He's climbing on my head, jumping into the water. Every day I'm with my son. How do you not put your damn arm around your son in 13 years? <laughs> Why haven't you seen your son? I told you. She you didn't tell me anything around. yet. She moved around to a lot of places. I never so what? could find her. I guess by that. You again. tracked a 16 year old unknown girl on the internet mm -hmm. and you were able to be with her and get her pregnant. You got a letter 11 months ago from your wife number one saying she needs your damn help. Here's my phone number. How come you haven't seen your son in the last 11 months? I talked to him on the phone. We had a good conversations. And then all of a sudden it came up to his birthday. At the time it was around his birthday. And all of a sudden, can I get $50 for my birthday? I'll see what I can do. I'm on a fixed income and I don't who make Who called that much. who, by the way? He called me most of the time because Angelia said, I don't want him to have anything to do with the numbers or anything. It, it, so he calls, so he calls you and mm -hmm. says, now after years and years of not talking to you finally and you're having a great conversation and all these years have gone by, you've never sent him a birthday present, right? No. Ever sent him a Christmas present? No, because I didn't know where he was. So. Did you ever set a little money aside, maybe like 10 cents a day, that when I do see my son, I'll buy him a nice gift? I was thinking about it, but you that's not doing it. That's not doing it. I was thinking about it. Thinking about it's always good. But then when your son asked you for 50 bucks, what was your response? I, I couldn't do it. I'm on a fixed income. You're on a fixed income. Yeah. If you're on a fixed income, your wife's wondering where all the money's going. She's not seeing it, so where is it going? Where's this fixed income going? That's why I came here to come clean and just what what's what are you gonna come clean to um, I've been cheating on her with other women from the chat line and whatnot these other women that you're cheating on your wife with spend any money on them yes 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 what what do you spend money on what do you buy uh, it was strippers strippers and, uh, yeah what else prostitutes Prost well yeah so you spend money on women that are strippers and prostitutes yeah I'm assuming that these things cost more than 50 bucks. Yeah. So you can spend money on a prostitute and you can spend money on strippers, but you can't send your own son that you've never sent the gift to. You said yourself you've never sent them a birthday or Christmas present, but you can't send him 50 bucks and you're frustrated because you're on a fixed income? <laughs> I don't know. How, uh, explain how it is that you can not give your own child, but you can give some stranger money. How can you take money out of your own family's mouths and give it to some stranger? I don't know. I want to know. How, does, how, how are you able it. to do I that? I don't know. I don't know. No, what. you do know. You know why? Because you're a selfish <laughs> That's why. <laughs>
Where were you for the last 10 years of my life? How could you ever give comfort to this man again? And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. You ever go into a whore house with money in your pocket to go have sex? When I had a job and whatnot. How much money did you have in your pocket? It varied. Like sometimes it'd be 300. 300. Sometimes it could be up to like what Jennifer said, 800. 800 dollars. So you money spent three to 800 dollars on some strange woman that you don't even know, right? Yeah. But you can't say, okay, here's 750 for the whore. And here's $50 for my son. Why can't, why can't you do that? I, I keep telling you I don't know. I just... You do know, damn it! <laughs> well, why don't you walk me through it when you were going in there and you're handing over the money. What's going through your mind? It's just like, I don't even think about it. It's, you, you don't, don't even, even think, think about, about it. No, you're thinking about it. No. It's While you're driving, woo hoo hoo. And your wife's at home. She's not seeing the money. Having problems feeding the kids. Why would any woman stay with you? Jeez. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. You know, I don't blame Je Jennifer if she leaves me. I mean, at this point, but I just wanted to... But you don't care either, because there's do another 16-year-old out there, right? No, no. I do care. I came to come but clean and try to fix it. you'll save enough for that internet, bill, right? So you can troll? I don't go on the internet. Oh, not anymore, right? I've never gone on the internet. Well, your wife said that's where she met you, online. No, online, see... Online, she meant like uh, a phone chat room where you could talk to someone on the Who phone. Who gives a damn? It, either one. <laughs> I want to change. I want to get better. Now, these are your two boys with Jennifer, right? Yes. Would you go 13 years without seeing them? No. Why not? Just answer the question. Why wouldn't you go 13 years without seeing them? Because I love them. Because you love them. Any, do you love them any more than you love your other son? No, I love them both. You, you love them all the same? If I could do things over with Junior, I would. I would treat him the same as him. I would try to protect him. I would try to be there for, the, for him. Try to teach him values, which I don't have, but I'm trying to change now. How I are you trying mistake. to change? I'm, How are you trying to change? I came on the show to come clean, because I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of just not being responsible. I'm sorry, Steve. I, when I saw that... I'm sorry, your tears have no effect on me. That's fine. <laughs> so, so, you're, so you're really trying now, right, Greg? You're really giving it the, your, your, all your effort. Yeah. Because you found out you were still married, right? Right? Yeah. And the, what do you need to do to get divorced? Just the just the sixty dollars and to sixty dollars. Yeah. And what? And to go to the parenting class. And why haven't you done it? Because once again, I use the fixed income as an excuse. But why haven't you done it? Why haven't you taken that sixty dollars and taken a class and got divorced so you can mm. just be with Jennifer? Because I was on a fixed income and I was trying to provide for the two I have The now. fixed income? Yeah. You got plenty of money. You're spending $800 in a strip club. <laughs> the fixed income only it comes, it becomes an inconvenience when you have to support your family. But when it's going out spending on women that you want to have sex with, then it's not fixed income. Then it's never a problem. I see your point. 
But let's bring your wife up. Wife okay. number two. Let's yeah. bring John for that. Okay, for one, it's a lie that you don't want to talk to your kid. I had to force you to get on that phone the first time. You don't want nothing to do with him. You remember telling me that? You don't want to see him. You don't want to talk to him. They wanted to bring him out on September 3rd. You were flipping out saying, no, I can't do it. And now you're out there spending money on hookers, dirty, skanky broads, instead of spending the money on my kids, their food, you know, clothes. You know doggone where their clothes don't fit. What the hell do you think you're doing? I don't know is not a good enough answer. You're gonna have to come up with something better than that. Where were you for the last 10 years of my life? You know what it was like growing up without a dad and how hard it was on me? Why weren't you there for me? If you walk out that door, you can go still be with Greg, or you could go out that door and probably start a whole new life. And I just wanna see which way you're gonna exit my stage. Why did it take this for you to tell the truth? It shouldn't have. You're right. Damn straight it shouldn't have. Well, why don't, why don't we just do the lie detector test right now? Let's just, I'll do it and you answer honestly. Okay. Have you had sex with other women? Yes. Have you paid strippers and prostitutes? Yes. Spend money on other women? Yes. Had sex with underage girls? No. Are you sure? Yes. What's underage in your mind? What's underage in your mind? I see your point. No, you don't see my point. Answer the question. You don't see my point. Well, I'm, I'm trying to understand your mind, because you and me don't think the same. So I want to know what's underage in your mind. Under 18. But... Under 18. Yeah. Underage is under 18 in your mind? Mm -hmm. And you happen to marry two 16-year-olds? Yeah. No. You still love your first wife? No. Not at all? No. You don't want to be with her? No. You want a divorce? Yes. So bad? Yeah. How bad? Very bad. Then why didn't really? You do but you something can't like spend it? the sixty bucks. Yeah, so bad. I mean, bad. honestly, you know, I hear you come out and you say you love this guy, and you even said he was a good father. A good father doesn't let his children go without, while he selfishly takes care of his pervert needs. You know, that's not a good father. <laughs> It isn't that we can't afford the money. It's just you don't want to because it takes out of your... It's not that I don't want to. I told... It is that you don't want to. You don't want nothing to do with that kid. I'm the one that forced you to start talking to him. You were angry, you know. You don't want to deal with it, so what did I do? So what if I don't want to deal with it? It's your problem. It's your... It's the situation you made. Why does she have to deal with it? She should <laughs> And the results of your lie detector test, you know, I, I, it's, I don't even know why we need to read them because you basically admit to everything. Since you've been married to Jennifer, have you had sex with anyone under 18 years old? You answered no. Do you want to finalize your divorce with Angelia? You answered yes. During the past 10 years, have you tried to contact your 13-year-old son? You answered no. Did you know that you were married to Angelia the day you got married to Jennifer? You answered no. Well, it's kind of shocking because you have told the truth. You told the truth. So I really did think, like Steve said, you could think all you want, but it doesn't mean you are. Well, but that's not all, Greg. I got a little more here. OK. <laughs> She's 
because as shocking as that was, it really doesn't let you off the hook. Greg confessed to having sex with more than 20 women since he's been married to Jennifer. Not one, not two, not five, not 10, not 15, 20. 20 women. You're a whore yourself. Now it all, now it all makes sense why you sitting there crying like a little girl because you scared that I'm gonna leave you. I, like I told them, I just wanna come clean and try You and just fix. wanna come clean? Yeah. You need to go to a doctor and have a full physical to find that out. <laughs> But then you were asked, while you were away from your family, did you spend money on women that you were romantically interested in? You answered no, and you lied. You did not tell the truth on that. You spent women, money on women that you were romantically interested in. If you want to come clean, here's your chance. I didn't, in my mind, I didn't think that I was romantically involved. What were you, in just, your mind, were you James Bond? What no, were you? I, I, <laughs> no. But let's bring out the first 16-year-old you married and had a son with that you have not seen in, since your son's been a baby. He's, he's a teenager now. He's 13 years old. Here's the woman that you're currently still married to, along with Jennifer, Angelia. Hi, remember me, your wife, your real wife, the one that you left me with a three-year-old son? never to do anything, and when I reached out for help, you completely ignored him. Well, watching everything back there made me realize maybe my son's better off not knowing you. You are sick and disgusting. You ain't much better. Yeah, I'm not much better. I taught my son how to play football. I had to go learn how to play football just to teach our own son how to play. And now he is a great athlete. He's super smart in school. He is such a good person. And honestly, if you come around, I'm really afraid of my teenage daughter. I don't want you anywhere near my house. <laughs> How could you ever give comfort to this man again? If you walk out that door, you can go still be with Greg, or you could go out that door and probably start a whole new life. And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. You are trying to make it look like No, you I tried are to ask to make for help look, for our no. teenage kid. No, you didn't. Don't even take it back on me. I'm the strong one. You couldn't. You're the strong one? Yeah. You weren't even there when he was first born? You're How was I not there called? when he was first born? <laughs> after he was where, born. Where was he? After he was, was born. She like jumped no. off the table and ran? <laughs> after he was first born. I wasn't born, the one in the house. She so. wasn't around. Where were you? The family member. Where were you? Took him the family member. The family member. How do you where, know where were you? Him? Where were you when she took off? And I didn't take off. No, I was I don't working know. graveyard. Where were you? You said she wasn't around. The family member had the baby. Where were you? That at that time. Yeah, at that time. They were with. They. They, he was with them. Where were you? I wasn't there. Where were you? I was. Where were you? I wasn't there for Where him. were you? I left. I was gone. Just tell me where you were. I lived somewhere else. I moved away from her to get away from it all. Did it have bars on it? No. I mean, wh it what? Is it a exactly. secret? Were you a government spy? You are James no. Bond. No. <laughs> OK, we can't get that secret out of him. Who has raised your son for 13 years? She has. And who didn't raise your son for 13 years? I did. And you want to like make you want to bring her down a little bit? You're still married to this guy. I don't want to be. I got the divorce papers, and it was convenient that three pages were missing where I was supposed to sign. And that's not true. Um, yeah, got... I've had three people look them over, and they're missing three pages. No, 
I, w I filed with the court, and the court helped me do the But paperwork. now you could get divorced if you spent the 60 bucks. That's correct. So, but when, and you haven't done that, so whether the three pages are missed and everything else, you, you could get divorced. you don't want to sit there for three hours for parenting class. And so you... Honestly, I'm so embarrassed you're not, having a kid with him. And you're, well, you're not in love with him anymore. Hell no. And you don't want, you have no romantic feelings no. for him. And your son had, has made a tape for Greg? Yes. You want to walk over and watch this tape that your son sure. made for you? I'm here today because I wanted to talk about my father and how he left me when I was three years old. Whenever I do sports, I feel left out because he was never there for me. On my birthday, I had to call him and ask him for a birthday card, and he never sent it like he said he would. And I feel very sad and angry with him. Where were you for the last 10 years of my life? Do you know what it was like growing up without a dad and how hard it was on me? Why weren't you there for me? I don't even know what you look like, and I've only seen one picture of you for 10 years. I hope I can change you, but I don't know. What did I do wrong to make you leave me? That's, that's a little boy reaching out. That's all I can say. And I could try and be there for him, but that's, you know, I, I don't know. It's, you know, it's kind of a give and take thing, you know? A give and take thing? It, it's, I need to give. He needs to take whatever love I can try and give him. How can he take when you're not giving him anything? You're right. I'm, And you know what? I, like, I do the show and I'm getting mad at you for the past hour, and now I'm kind of like done with you. I'm really like, I'm not mad anymore. I feel very disappointed and I feel sad for your son. I see a, a 13 year old boy that doesn't have a father in his life. And you know, I could keep yelling at you and being pissed off at you, but it doesn't do any good. It's not going to change you. But honestly, it's what are you going to do? What are you going to do with your life? You're gonna keep giving comfort and love to this man when he won't give it to his own son? Would you ever lay down in a bed and rub his back again? Let him have you as a woman knowing that he robs from you, he robs from your children, he robs from his other son? How could you ever give comfort to this man again? You haven't seen your son since he's been three years old. Do you want to see your son? No. Yeah. Why don't you tell him the truth? Why don't you tell him what you told me? No. Oh, what a great dad. Yeah. Any awards for him? <laughs> you, you want to come clean? Just a minute. If you didn't want to talk to me, you didn't want to talk to him. I, but that's just it. A part of me wants to have a relationship. But a part of me Not knows. Not a big enough part of you, huh? Do yeah. right. You're right. Do you want to see your son now? It's a yes or no question. Yes. You'd love to go back there and see your son? Yes. Really? Yes. It's up to you. I'm it has not to be completely supervised. <laughs> He's sick. Well, you could, you could be there. Okay. <laughs> you go with okay. him if you will allow him to see his son. But listen, I don't care if you do or you don't. I really don't. I feel because me personally, I don't think it's horrible that a son has in hand for 10 years. But it might, be, it might be good for the boy. He That's says, the only reason why I'm here, is okay. for him. So if, if you think it's OK, why don't you take him back to the green room and let him meet his son? OK. So my thing is, you, we gave you your answers that you wanted. We delivered that part for you. But now the show is over, and you have to go on with your life. And I'm just kind of curious as the direction you're going to go. And you don't have to say anything. I just want to know when you, if you walk out that door, you can go still be with Greg, or you could go out that door and probably start a whole new life and find somebody that really 
at least have a chance to meet somebody that really loves you and that's going to be committed to you. And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. And I just want to see which way you're going to exit my stage. There's Greg, there's a new life. Nobody's going to judge you. Hey, baby. So, JR, this is your dad, Greg. Hi. Hi. I'm going to stand up. I want to say something real quick. I'm sorry for not being there. I've been the best father to you, but I want to try and make it better. I apologize. And if you want, I'll give you a hug. I'm really sorry I haven't been there for you. I should be a bit better father. And you deserve better, and I'm going to try and do the best I can. Stay.